I'm Julia and I'm a product designer here at KiwiCo. Our oceans are a pretty important part of life here on Earth. They cover 70% of the Earth's surface and they provide us with food and air to breathe. Kelp forests are one of the most diverse ocean ecosystems. These giant green squigglies are home to hundreds of special sea creatures like sea otters and starfish. To learn more about this awesome ocean ecosystem, let's make a kelp forest in a jar. We need KiwiCo wood beads, clay confetti, and air dry clay. Felt, a pipe cleaner, a craft stick, scissors, hot glue, some water, liquid colors, and a tall recycled jar. Step one, to make the kelp, cut leafy shapes out of green felt, like this. Then string a wood bead onto the top. You can use tape on the end of the felt to make it easier. If you've ever seen kelp wash up on the beach, you may have noticed that it has sacks of air attached to it, kind of like balloons. Those are called pneumatocysts, and they help the kelp float underwater. This wood bead is going to do the same thing in our jar. Step two. Now let's attach our kelp to the lid of our jar with hot glue. You can ask a grown-up for help. In the ocean, kelp roots itself to the seafloor with special systems called holdfasts. The holdfasts keep the kelp porous in place so that they don't wash away with the ocean waves. Step three. Time to make the critters. I'm going to use a craft stick and some felt to make an otter, but lots of marine mammals live in kelp forests, so you could also make a seal or a sea lion. The craft stick will help keep the otter afloat. Real otters stay afloat by trapping air in their thick fur. I also made these sea urchins out of pipe cleaners, and I'll use the stars from this KiwiCo clay confetti set for sea stars. Step four, pour water into your jar. Fill it out most of the way and add a drop or two of blue liquid colors. Then drop in your critters, screw on your cap, and flip it upside down. Step five, to finish your jar, add some air dry clay to the outside of your lid to make it look like the rocky sea floor. I'm adding some extra sea stars as a finishing touch. And that's it, your kelp jar is complete. Did you know that some types of kelp are actually edible? They're pretty delicious and sustainable. Mmm, kelpy. To learn more about the ocean, check out more of our awesome projects at kiwico.com.